All across the state, Oklahomans pause on this Memorial Day to remember the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice. Those service men and women. Two News reporter Brandon Richard is at one of the area's busiest places today, Floral Haven Cemetery. Brandon? Well, a busy day, a busy few days, as a matter of fact. That's all winding down. Moments ago, the Boy Scouts began gathering here to begin the process of taking down 3,000 American flags that have been on display. And while all the Memorial Day services are coming to an end, the memories continue. At age 75, William Wilson may not move as quickly as he used to, but nothing. Nothing stops this Air Force veteran from visiting Floral Haven Cemetery as often as he can, including on Memorial Day. Today is very important. He especially loves the 3,100 American flags on display. Each flag once covered a soldier's casket. You don't see this at any cemetery. But you see, Floral Haven is not just a cemetery where veterans are buried. For one broken arrow couple, it represents so much more. It's where World War II vet Richard Wilson and his wife Glenda's love story began. Both of our mates uh, died in 1996, and I came to a grief recovery class, and so did Dick, that Floral Haven sponsors. I said, he looks like a guy that I might be interested in. <laughs> so he didn't have a chance. <laughs> They've been married 13 years. Richard and Glenda not only visit the graves of some of the men Richard served with, they also visit the graves of his late wife and Glenda's late husband. It gives us a special time to think of our loved ones. Just, just a day of remembrance. And a day to build new memories together. Now, Floral Haven changed things up a bit this year. They had an ice truck out here, not only giving folks out here a chance to cool off, but 20% of the proceeds from that truck will go to more tornado victims. Live in Broken Arrow, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you.